Have you ever wondered how you can recreate a website or web design you've seen online? Well, I've got good news for you. I will show you how we created this section using GreenShift during our live stream yesterday. This video should be snappier though. This will help you understand the tools and techniques needed to create a website like a pro. Let's see how quickly we were able to recreate the same section and how you can do it too. Hi, I'm Lex from Techies Review, and if you're as passionate about designing or creating websites like I am, then you're going to love this. So let's get to it. So this is the section we are going to recreate. It has a accent heading, section heading, and a little description with um, a media query section where you, um, not media query, with a query section where you can see the post and a call to action. Uh, so let's close this one. I have installed the GreenShift plugin, uh, the free version. You also need to have the Query and Medi Meta add-on as well. Uh, that's a paid version, but it's not that expensive. Um, if you like it, you can find a affiliate link down in the comments as well. And for the template, we are using the GreenShift template as well, of course. So let's add a new page. Let's call it Victor and let's start adding. Let's add the accent heading already. I think this is one of the easier ones. Then add the heading itself. And it was section heading. So there we go. And afterwards, add after. Here is where the magic will happen. So let's add a query loop builder. And as you can see, I already pre-populated my WordPress to, to the post to have an image, um, a title, a category for the label, and also an excerpt. So let's change this one and get all the contents in. So I want to start out with the container. Within the container, I want to have a uh, advanced text. That advanced text needs to be populated with a taxonomy value of the current post. Um, and would be the categories. So there we go. You have the categories in there. The default text can be removed. We also like to have image as well so let's drag that in there um, hmm. let's add a dynamic title and let's add afterwards a another advanced text grabbing our excerpt so the current post and here we have the excerpt doesn't allow me to remove the text so luckily there's a content section in the side panel as well where you can remove everything and there it goes let's see if everything is set up yes I want those two to be a container for later and we'll see why that is a very nice thing to have. So now we have our custom fields in and let's design this body. Um, let's first have, but this will be a light version instead of the dark version from get frames. Um, let's add a background color. Next up is the border radius. Let's add one of one EM, maybe too much. Let's reduce that as well. And let's add a spacing heading of one EM all around. So that looks nice. A lot of spacing, of course. And next up is the label. Let's change that one. We have a different size. Uh, I think I like a 0.8 size and there should be also a background color a little bit darker there we go 
Now it does have a very strange size, so we need to change that one. I think a max content will fix this. So what max content does, if there are two words in here, um, it just spreads the content out as well. So the background color. Um, if you use min content, it will wrap around. So if there are two words in there, it will wrap around the second word to the next line. And the longest uh, word will have the uh, background. I hope it is clear, <laughs> clear enough. If not, let me know. Point one. Um, no, we don't want it to be. We want it to be zero. And I always like to double my left and right padding to be double of the uh, the top and bottom one. Mm. Let's add a border radius. Can be very small. Think point two works. Um, this needs to change because I don't like the underline there. You need to go to typography for title, and then you have advanced typography options. Reset decoration to remove, and there we go. It is gone. Next up will be the image. So let's change the image to have a absolute position and a one index. Now you can see that there's something going on. Doesn't have the full height yet, but now it does. Um, also, the rest of our content is gone. So let's get those back. Let's add a position relative two and a another position relative of two there we go now it's back now we need a hover animation for the image so we go back to advanced and see this transform we set the default to be zero opacity because we don't want it to show up when we load the page but it show, needs to show up when you hover over it so let's add the hover of point, I don't know, four. Now I see something funky going on because we didn't, you can set a selector or what needs to be hovered before it gets activated. So you select the parent, there we go. And also we need, I like it to be skilled very slightly. Here we go. That looks already nicely. Mm. Let's have a look at their version. Looks like it's getting pretty close already. That's nice. Now I want this height of the wrapper to be responsive-ish. So I like it to be a for the age and at least 400 pixels. Now it doesn't align properly, so let's fix that one. Um, we need to set the flex box to column and space between. So this one goes to the bottom and this one stays at the top. Uh, I also see that we forgot to add a power graph here. Let me copy and paste the lorem ipsum. I uh, want it to be not the core block one, but the text advanced feature, text advanced from GreenShift. There we go. And I would like this to be 50CH. So there we go. 50CH. And let's. Publish, publish, copy, and let's see how this looks. So there we go, already done. 
snaps to one, snaps to two. Oh, there's also a three. Maybe two would be better looking, but it does work already. And I noticed that the power graph is not very nicely responsive. So let's change that one immediately. I think the width should be 100% with a max width of 50 CH. So there you go. Um, this is actually it. This is how fast you can create the uh, the heading and the section from Kevin uh, that Kevin Geary also did. Uh, I like to do something very nice. Let me add a button as well. Dash button. We have everything in there. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel to get more of these kinds of recreate or design uh, videos. I just noticed that the power graph isn't aligned center, so let's put that to auto as well. And there we go. Uh, <clears throat> to go one step further. I don't like my cards to be full down on mobile. I like to be a uh, horizontal scrolling section. So I've already made custom CSS for that one. So I will just paste that in there and explain quickly to you what I just did and what this does as well. So I pasted, pasted this uh, custom CSS. It is a media query when a screen has this size. It will load this CSS and the CSS is the current and that's a placeholder to replace it with the current object class UL because the query loop builder from Shift uses an unordered list to view the grid, the, 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 the posts, and an LE also used to snap a line center. These two values are for creating a grid that can be off screen as well with an overflow, an overscroll behavior and a how the content snaps and here's the li to snap a line to center if we update this one we should see that this is as expected and there we go a carousel ish section maybe it would be nice if they all had the same width on mobile so let's change the value of that one to let me see for one second i think 80 ch would be the best way yeah so already pre-made this one as well so it is a cog of 80 vh and we don't want that to be on desktop but on mobile so here it's 85 vh so it doesn't take up all the spacing uh, with a minus 5 rem and that's the margin by default in the green shift theme and if we update right now you can see that the sections are 
all the same size. So now you have an understanding how you can recreate the section in green shift. And it was pretty quick if you ask me. And it looks very good, but not as good as Pentagrid. Did you know that Pentagrid is one of the hottest design trends right now? And it's used by Apple, DJI and Procreate. Watch how you can revolutionize your website design using Pentagrid in this video. And if you're still watching, let me know what I can improve upon in the next video. And while you're down there, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to Techies Reviews for more web creation tips and tricks. Until next time, keep designing.